You've heard me say many times before that violent offenders should not be released back to the neighborhoods, and here's why. You are taking people from a controlled environment that have not been fully rehabilitated. That's what you pay taxes for, full rehabilitation. Not one judge has ever provided a certificate that said that any COVID-19 releases are fully rehabilitated. And as well, to those releasees, it's unfair. You're taking someone from a controlled environment where they have three meals, a bed, and physical and mental health care, and many of them are going back to neighborhoods that test the highest for COVID-19 positives. They are coming back without a reentry program. No meals, no housing, no money, no mental or physical health care. You tell me where does that make sense in anybody's book? So, as well, I'll close on that answer and this in a minute. Um, the mentality on the street is that you can do whatever you want. You heard me cite before that Mr. Utley, who had an electronic bracelet on for an OUI and firearm offense, committed a murder, allegedly, whilst on an electronic bracelet. And he's let out because he could get sick. We need to be talking about the individuals that are released to the community that are impacting our neighborhoods and impacting violence because the mentality out on the street, this is from a 35-year street cop, is that you can do whatever you want because there are no repercussions from the court. And just to be fair, I used to go to MCI Concord three years in a row, restorative justice. For people that cannot function properly without hurting people, they have to be rehabilitated on the other side. With that being said, programs and initiatives must be fully funded so that they can be fully rehabilitated before they return as citizens and hopefully um, citizens that will be able to function without committing acts of violence. So that's, that's why I'm upset. Yeah. Um, your job as a judge is to be fair and impartial and make the best decisions for the neighborhood. So, it's quite obvious that repeat violent offenders are murderer, gangbangers. There was even one guy released that uh, sex crimes and child pornography. How does that make sense? Uh, here, here's something. If you feel so comfortable releasing them, let them stay in your house with your family. Now let's see if things would change. Come on. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Look at the numbers. Five homicides in a row. The attempted murder of four police officers in broad daylight. A 10-year-old girl getting shot in her apartment. A 17-year-old girl getting murdered on the street. The mentality on the street is we can do whatever we want because there's no repercussions. The courts are closed. We can do what we want. So how about this? Use your common sense and be fair to the people in the community. The people getting out are not fully rehabilitated and you do not have a reentry program. It's not fair to them or the community.